marble sculptures in the museum are sizable in number though majority of them are garden figures being copies of Greek mythological sculptures done by famous artists. Of the original figures, mention may be made of a charming sculpture veiled Rebecca, acquired by Salar Young I two copies of the well-known French sculptor, Canora, 1757-1822, consisting of Princess Pauline cast as Venus and another figure of Venus are also nice marbles. The marble statues from Italy, France and England form sizable collection of the museum. of the Taj Mahal is formed with marble. The gorgeous detailed nature motifs are carved from marble and the interior false tombs behind a lattice work of perforated marble called Jolly are made of marble, holding the remains of both Mumtaz and the Shah. These designs filled with beautiful colored inlays are called Pietra Dura. White and sometimes black marbles are often used as the base in Pietra Dura designs and the colored rocks and gemstone material in the inlay are so delicately cut they I actually won't believe how soft and smooth that is. And this is another thing that people have said, and maybe it's what I love about it. It's two things about carving. Painting, you come up with an idea and you add to it to create what you want the image to be. Carving is a whole opposite way of thinking. You're taking away. So if you take away something and then you've taken it away, you're, that's it. You can't. The sculpture begins in the quarry. I'm carving the marble directly. So I choose my marble, I see already the sculpture somehow in that marble, and I choose according what I envision to do. The most structural and heavy stage of the process is to create the basic, proportional and balanced shape. Taking into consideration the natural structure and teen of the stone, it is essential to properly visualize the future sculpture in a block of stone. 